Today, I kind of want to show you guys a tool that's kind of making the rounds of everybody's YouTube channel, but this is the Knipex Twin Grips. And I got these in probably a month, maybe more ago from KC Tool. And I will link these in the description down below if you're looking for a pair. I believe they have them in stock now, or hopefully will have. But I wanted to go over a few of the reasons and features that these have and why you might want a set of these or not. I your decision. But some of the things that you run into with pliers are, you know, if you're taking out a bolt and you can't get your pliers in there sideways, but you know, maybe it's not super tight. This set of pliers is made where you can go straight into the bolt head and it has a groove inside here, just about an eighth of an inch inside the front that that will grip something at an angle like, or straight on like that. So I will grab my bolt board and show you guys a little bit more detail on that. Okay, now I'm sure you guys remember this from the uh, Vera Joker video with the auto adjusting wrenches. Anyway, so if you have this, some of this here too, let's go ahead and show you guys. You have a regular button for a slip joint plier. You can press this button and you can actually open this jaw. See that? To whatever size. So if you take it out to max, you know, it'll even stay open like that right there. But when you come straight on on that pair of pliers, see if you can actually see that. Look at how nice those jaws are. And you see this groove down the center inside the plier right here and on the top, as well as how many adjustment points you have right through here. But they also gave it kind of a unique jaw shape all around there as well. So it's it's quite different than your ordinary pliers. So the odds of you finding a use for this are a lot higher, you know, it's not just a little bit different, it's way different. And when it's closed up like this, it has the normal Knipex nice way of keeping all of the reins on these, on the pliers, the handles, nice and close together coming back. So you have a good grip on these things. Even, you know, if you move it out to the wide adjustments, it's still not a bad grip at all here. So you can go ahead and get a bite on that. And I don't have huge hands. And that's still, I can get a good grip on that even with it opened up like that. So, if you were to grab a bolt, like say this one right here, straight on, you can grab this and it actually locks onto the head of the bolt. You can come in and grab a bolt head just like that. And it actually will lock onto, let's see if I can show that a little better. So you can actually come in with this. Let's see, we're gonna try it first. Pretty good. We can go ahead and adjust these just a little bit open and it'll fit perfectly with the handles close together. So that's the big key with using the adjustable button here for the slip joint. You can go ahead and adjust it to where it will fit this. And you see how you can go ahead and grab that bolt straight on with these and turn it. And this groove down the center of the nose of these pliers right there, see if we can just open that. You see that groove down through there? Okay, see the groove right down the center of this? That allows that to just grab, and this doesn't slip. You can actually just rotate that head of that bolt, no problem. You can go ahead and just tighten it down if you want to. You're not grabbing, you know, if you were gonna use, like say you're a normal pair of, say, pliers wrench on this, and you adjust it, and you're coming straight in from the front, you'd be grabbing on the flats like that, see? And that, it, it's not a real great grip because these are made to grab this way so they don't roll off the corners. Where this is made to literally grab the corners of the bolt. So when you come in there, you grab that bolt, you don't have to worry about this slipping on you at all. This will just sit right there and just go ahead and run that in. Now you're not gonna be breaking loose rusty bolts and things like that, obviously, unless you got the hand power for this without breaking the tool, but this will allow you to get into those spots that might otherwise be a big problem. And for me, I thought this was a very cool thing. But you can get right in here too when you're, when you're on the side. This will adjust and fit right to your bolt. If you want to change, you can adjust that slip joint there until it fits it perfectly. But these are more for that unique moment when you just need to grab something head on and get it done. And this will just reach right in there, grab it, and turn that thing right down in a spot where you can't get anything else. Now these are the 8202 200s from Knipex. 
They are made in Germany, right inside there. And just great quality. Lifetime warranty tools. Um, that has, has a spring-loaded feature here, and this is a replaceable little piece of metal right here on the back. This little piece and the button and all. You can get those separately if you'd ever snap it or anything like that. And I did order mine with the two component handles, which are the nice, you know, the grips that I have on my mold pocket pair I carry all the time, as opposed to the slick grip, you know, or the grippy. They have one that's really grippy and dipped, the dipped finish in this same tool but it wasn't much more for the two component and lately i've been buying a lot of the other grip and i wanted to be able to tell these apart since they're quite a different tool but i, I was really skeptical about these but i'll be honest i took them on some jobs i had to repair some barn doors things like that took them on the job with me and man they i they overperformed my expectations. We'll just put it that way. I had to wait quite a while. These were back ordered pretty badly at the time, but pretty cool, pretty cool little tool. But thank y'all for being here. Did you get a pair of twin grips? If you did, let me know what you thought of them. I'm really curious. Did you find any uses for them that I I'm missing here? But as far as getting into funky little spots that it's hard to get another wrench into this appears to be pretty cool for me there is a japanese i believe version van pliers or something like that but every time i've gone online to order them at least through amazon and other places they end up like 70 something dollars and i, I will pay 70 something dollars for a wrench obviously that's not a problem but these weren't anywhere near that bad, and they already fit my kind of love for Knipex tools. So, do you guys use the van pliers? Do you have any experience with those? Any opinions on them? Have you tried both together? Should I get the van pliers and see how the two compare for you guys? Is that something y'all be curious about? If so, let me know. But in the meantime, hope y'all are having a great year. See you on the next one.